Are your pegs way too tight to turn sometimes? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix that. So pegs can get tight for a variety of reasons, but what a lot of people do if their pegs are too tight is they'll try to use their fine tuners to tune their violin, but if your violin is way out of tune, then the fine tuners just aren't gonna cut it. Well, it's super easy to fix this problem. So in this video, I'm just gonna show you how to do it. Let's get to it. Now there's two primary reasons why your pegs might be too tight to turn. Now the first one is self-inflicted. So let's say you know that you should, you know, push your peg in, you know, towards the instrument while you turn the peg, you know, to pr put the string on to avoid your, your pegs being uh, too loose, right? So slipping pegs is a common problem. So a lot of people, especially ones who've watched my video, they know that if you push the peg in while you wind the string, that will make the peg much tighter. But the problem is, is that some people might push that peg in too hard and now the peg is really tight and you have a hard time, you know, tuning your violin or maybe you can't even loosen it at all hardly. Now the second reason is weather change, right? So this is the most common problem. So maybe the peg is really tight, you can still turn it, but when you turn it, it makes that, you know, that kind of creaking sound, you know, and it's like skips and it's just, it's very, you know, it's very hard to, hard to turn. Now that one is caused by weather changes, right? So that just means that the wood around the peg has contracted. And what that does is it squeezes the peg and it makes it really hard to turn the peg. So there's a couple really easy fixes for this. Okay, so the first situation, the self-inflicted one, where you put the peg in too tight and you know maybe you regret putting it in as tight as you did or maybe the weather changed so now a nice firm peg is now like almost impossible to turn, especially if you're trying to tune it with your left hand while you're bowing and you're just, you're just not quite strong enough, you know, or it's so difficult that you can't like get it exactly where you want it, right? So the fix is very simple, simply, Loosen this peg like a quarter turn, maybe a half turn. But the trick is don't push the peg in or out. Don't do anything. Just loosen the peg, you know, the, just a little bit. So you loosen that peg. Let's say I'll go a, a quarter turn, right? I want a quarter turn and now I just tune it back to pitch. Okay, that immediately will loosen that peg so it's a lot easier to turn. Let's say it's still a little bit too tight you know, go a little bit more, maybe a third or maybe even a half turn, right? Then turn it back. But remember when you turn it back, don't push the peg in while you turn it. That's kind of a habit, right? Just, just turn the peg. And now that peg will be a lot more relaxed. Now, if you turn it, you know, too much loose and then tighten it back, now it'll be so loose now the peg slips, you know, it, it slips. So you can go too far with that. So it's really just practice, you know, trying to figure out how much to push the peg in while you turn it to get it just right, okay? Okay, so the second situation is, let's say the peg is really difficult to turn, perhaps due in part to, you know, your own fault. And it could be a combination also of the weather change. Um, but a lot of times the pegs, you know, and it depends on the kind of material that the peg is made out of and whatnot. Sometimes the pegs, they're difficult to turn and then when they do turn, they'll kind of go, uh, 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 they're kind of, kind of notchy or they'll make a creaking sound, you know, and it sounds like you're gonna break the peg or something. But more importantly, is it makes it very difficult to get the peg exactly where you want it because it doesn't move freely. So what you can do is simply put some peg compound uh, on, the, on the peg, right? So here's some, it just looks like lipstick, right? We sell this on our site. I'll put, a, I'll put a, a link in the description. You can buy this uh, just about anywhere. You can probably get it on Amazon, I don't know. Um, but anyhow, they cost about seven to $12, kind of depending on where you get it. But it just looks like lipstick. So you can put this on your peg and it'll make it um, really easy to move and it lasts a long time. Another little short trick is that you can get a pencil, you can rub a pencil on the pen and get that graphite on there and that'll help lubricate it as well. It doesn't last as long, um, but you know, it'll work in a pinch, it'll usually help out. But this stuff really works well. Okay, so you just take the string off and if you want more detailed explanation on the proper way to put strings on and off, 
I put a link in my videos below. I've got a really popular video about how to prevent slipping pegs. And I go into great detail on how to put that um, a peg, a string on the peg so it doesn't do that. And also I have a, you know, videos on how to put violin strings on. Okay, so you take this peg compound and you just rub it on your peg. You know, make, you don't have to get it all the way up to, you know, the part where your hand touches. Just put it on the part where, you know, the, the violin contacts the peg. You just put a little light coating on there. And I, I usually get it all the way around. Okay, so then you're gonna put your peg, your string back on. Okay, so when you're putting your string back on, make sure, of course, like I said, there's more detailed information in my other videos, but just make sure that you wind that string, you direct the string towards the peg that you're turning, right? So I'm turning this peg, so I'm gonna direct that string towards that peg to make sure it winds next to the side of the scroll box, and then push the, the peg in while you turn it. This will ensure that your peg doesn't slip um, when you're done, and that's the proper way to uh, wind your string on your instrument. This will actually uh, improve the life of your scroll uh, because it, it ends up putting less dress on your instrument, and it will uh, prevent you from having to push the peg in all the time while you're trying to tune your instrument, and uh, your peg won't slip. Okay. Okay, so it's as simple as that. So I put that peg compound in there. Now that peg is a lot easier to tune. And if you, you know, pushed a little bit too hard, again, remember, all you have to do is just loosen it, maybe a quarter turn, and then tighten it back. And that's just gonna relax that peg. Or if that's not enough, just do it a half turn, and then turn it back, and you'll be fine. So guys, I hope this video was helpful. And uh, you know, if you have any other questions, of course, you know, as always, please put them in the description below. Um, lately, I've been um, doing all videos based off of uh, customer questions throughout the week. And I get a lot of customer questions on the comments and I answer just about all the comments. So if you have a question or if you have ideas for other videos, just let me know. So with that, I hope you have a great uh, rest of the week and uh, happy practicing. <laughs>